Hello students, in our previous class, we studied about, as you know, our reading chapter 11 is going on. The chapter name is Light, Sound and Force. So children, now we can you come to the next topic. Okay, so let's start. So children, today we will learn about understanding sound. Children, every day we hear various types of sounds around us. When we speak or laugh, we produce sound, isn't it? So children, when we talk, we are making a sound. Our tongue helps us to make sound, isn't it? So we hear sounds of all kinds with the help of our ears, okay? And if you strike a steel tumbler with a spoon, it makes a sound, isn't it? And we hear various kinds of sounds such as the ring of a bell or telephone, the cry of a baby and the bark of a dog, okay? Let us learn about types of sounds. Sounds are of two types. The first one is pleasant sounds, okay? Sounds that soft and make us happy or pleasant sounds. Example for music. While some sounds are unpleasant, that irritate us, isn't it? Example for the continuous honking of a vehicle. We like to hear soft and pleasant sounds, okay? And we do not like to hear loud and unpleasant sound. Next, we will learn about understanding force. Students, what is a force? We do different types of work in our day-to-day -day life, isn't it? So, in everyday life, we push or pull things to move them, isn't it? We either push or pull something by applying force on it and do work. So, such a push or pull is called force, okay? And force help us to do many things, isn't it? It can move an object, it can stop moving objects and it can even change the shape of an object, okay? For example, tearing of a paper, breaking of a glass, etc., okay? Now let's see about friction, okay? Children, what is friction? Friction is the type of force and it helps us. Friction is to force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces and fluid layers and material elements, okay? Sliding against each other. And friction is what happens when two things touch each other, okay? Now here in this picture you can see when two things, isn't it? This is two things rub or touch each other. Friction is developed, okay? So, example is a car is moving on the road. So, that means there is two objects. Uh, the car and the road. We are touching each other, right? And uh, that what is developing a force of friction is developing, okay? When friction is very less, things slide. And when it is more, things don't move, okay? If there is no friction, we would be able to walk. So, we would keep slipping off, okay? So, children, this lesson is over. Please go through this chapter 11, okay? See the next video. Thank you.